Good evening. My name is Mia Foster. I have two children in the Elk Grove Unified School District, soon be three in a couple of years here. Tonight, I'm here in support of the parents in our school district and throughout the state who are fighting for their children's medical freedom and bodily autonomy. It's my understanding that immediately after the California governor's announcement on October 1st, mandating the vaccine for our children, the school district issued a statement of compliance without regard to the impact that this would have on the parents and students of this school district. So today I'm here to share my story with you on why I am against this mandate for our children. Five months ago, my husband and I received the Moderna vaccine. While I had the privilege to recover from the typical symptoms following this vaccine, my husband was not so lucky. I'd like to share his story and his experiences for those who had not been afforded the privilege of a quick recovery following this vaccine. A week following the second dose of the Moderna, my husband's health took a dive. He is typically a very healthy person, but since taking the vaccine, his life has not been the same. Our life has not been the same. My husband began waking up in the middle of the night with his heart pounding. He thought he was going to die each time. To this day, he continues to experience random and unpredictable attacks of a rapid heart rate, but there's more. His vestibular system has also gone haywire. He is constantly dizzy. He is off balance. He now has vision issues. These attacks are unpredictable and some days are worse than others. When I first shared my story, countless individuals I personally knew approached me and shared their own experiences with the vaccine, which were similar to my husband's. So you see, this is not just a conspiracy, a conspiracy theory. It's not political. This is very personal for us. How many others are suffering in silence right now because of this vaccine? My husband and I are fully vaccinated, so we are not anti-vax. We understand that everyone is just doing what they feel is best for their families right now, and we respect that. I don't doubt that all of us, regardless of where we stand on the issue of this mandate, are driven by anything less than the love we have for our children. But it's also important to remember that when in your support of this mandate, you are not projecting your own privileges onto the rest of us, especially when this concerns our most vulnerable. Our concerns are real, our experiences are very real. I do not want to see my children suffer adverse reactions to this vaccine like their father. It is simply a risk we will not take at this time. All we want is the choice to decide what is best for our children. Thank you.